today my amber lights came. Actually, I got home today. My amber lights were here a couple days ago, but I'm going to pull the grill off of the truck and put them on. So they, they are not three lights that go here, here, and here. There's actually four lights and they go in these two and those two. So let's get started. The install video for how to put these amber lights in shows that you have to take the grill completely off, which takes the trim piece down here off, and then a bunch of stuff up here, and then the whole thing snaps out. I was able to get the passenger side two lights in without it just by reaching underneath and getting the clip in there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the wiring yet, but I just wanna show you that it can be done uh, this way if you really don't wanna take the inside of your, or the, the trim off your truck, I will probably end up taking it off just to make sure uh, I get the wiring exactly how I want, but I wanna try this way first because it's a whole lot easier um, or less involved, I guess, is the better way to put it. So what I did on the other side is I put the light in through here. I've got kind of longer fingers, but if you have like a kid with tiny fingers or a helper, or you can create some sort of little tool or something, I mean, it's not the easiest, but it's definitely doable. Once you get it kind of lined up, a couple failures before I got it on the other side. So I'm expecting the same thing here, but okay. So that's in there, pushed all the way in. And then on the back, There we go, so that is all the way in there. And then this plastic clip, this is the hard part, or this was the hard part on the other one. So you want it above the wire. I see it over there, there it is. So it's, I'm not sure if you can see, get the camera in here. There's that little plastic clip to the right. So you've got the black plastic and then that little plastic clip. Um, I mean, there you go, you can see it moving. So that's what I'm trying to get clipped in there right now. All right, so that one is in. Now I'm gonna get the other one. And then on this one, the wire's on the top, on the left side. This one's on the left side. Uh, over here, they're both on the left, so the wires are a little bit off a little, but it is what it is. I'm not sure why I said that. I'll probably edit it out. And this one's a lot easier because you have the two big holes right here you can put both hands in, whereas when you're doing this one, you can only have uh, the one finger in there. So... Get this all the way through here. And it came, makes me think I didn't put this one all the way in. All right. And then what I was thinking is, once I know these are good and I really like how they are, I might put a couple dots of super glue just to really hold it because these plastic clips, they're in there, but they flop around a little bit. I don't think they're gonna come out, but there is some movement to them. The install video says you could put super glue on the clips themselves, but I'm thinking, a couple dots of super glue on these will be good enough. And then if you have to break them out of there, you break them out of there. I mean, that'd be a bummer if you did, if you did have to do that, but not the end of the world. So I'm gonna put this clip on real fast. I've got it above the wires again. And then I'll show you on this one. When you're doing it right now, I've got this one went a little too far. So this one's not reaching all the way out. So I have to push that one back a little bit. So this one will snap all the way in. Just if you're putting these things in and you think you might already have it, there's a chance you didn't quite get it. Um, just make sure you're even on it. And then there we go. Now it's snapped in. All of them are snapped in all the way across. Good to go. So now the wiring, this is what I'm trying to figure out. And I'm wondering if I just take this top piece of trim off, if I can see better um, so 
the part that I thought I had to take the whole grill off for is done. And the reason I didn't take the grill off, um, this piece right here is a, a special, is, is a trim piece. So I can get my trim removal tool in there. It pops out some, but I started actually bending this before the clips started to pop out. And plastic is one of those things where once it bends, you're not getting it back, or this plastic is. And once I figured out I could do it like this, I didn't want to mess with it. I did just go to uh, AutoZone and bought an actual trim removal tool. I mean, that's what this is, but this is not the right one. So I might still take it off, like I said, and uh, do this again that way. But I just wanted to show you that this does work. Um, now, on this side, you have your intake. So it's pretty easy to get the wires here on this side. You got nothing. So I think what I'm going to do right now is grab my trim removal tool and pull all these tabs out and see if I can get just this piece off. Um, actually, sorry. So I'm going to get all the tabs, pull this piece off, and then I'll be able to see all the wiring. And this should be really easy without having to take the grill off at all. So we'll get to it and bear with me here. So just so you can see the way these guys work when it's in there it's actually all right there's the camera so when it's down there it's holding this out when you get your pry tool on it or your screwdriver you're just sticking this in to pull that part up and now this can squeeze and it comes right out so i'm going to go ahead and do all of these i'll put the camera here so you can see one maybe um, We'll try this one. So do this one handed. Nope. Oh, it came all the way out. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. Putting the camera back so I can do this the right way. And I really like this kit they send you. Um, all the wires are soldered together and they already have heat shrink on them. So they're very well done. I can't find my soldering iron. So I'm just going to use some crimp things. But once I find my soldering iron, I'm going to come back in here and do it right. Okay, so this is great. You cannot see any of the wires from the grill. I saw like in the pictures they posted on how to do this, you could see the wires uh, through the grill and it just, to me, you want it to look as sanitary as possible. You don't want to be able to see any loose wires hanging out. So I am determined to make this look as good as I can. So the issue I was having was when you're looking in here, you can see those wires. And I am going to try to make it to where that one is up, coming straight up, but it's coming up through this hole. I need, instead of both of the, I put all the wires in through here. I had one over and then it came up together. So what I'm doing now is the split is going to be up here and I'm going to try to feed this light down through one of these and it should fit. So this is going to work. And then all the wiring will be up high, up here. Everything will be tucked up inside. So this is... This is good. I'm going to put this here again so you can see when I edit this, I might send it to the company and let them know that with patience and long skinny fingers, you can do this without taking the whole grill off. They probably know that, but they're more mechanical than I am and willing to actually take the grill off, whereas I didn't want to do that. Okay, so this is getting weird. I've got the light down here. I've got the wire. I just got to get it where it needs to go. So for now, I'm going to pull it through here just so I can have positive control of it. Get my clampy thing, get my screwdriver, everything ready. So I'm ready for it when I get it in place. All right, this here, that there. So it's going like this. Wire is on the left side, but that's just the way it is. All right, so when I do this, I put my pinky in here, kind of grab it, and then good thing is it's wired, so if you drop it, 
it's not like it's falling down and making a big mess, but oh, that's it. And then once you have it kind of in place, you can just put your finger back here and your thumb, and then you're holding it, you're pinching it, and you just get it into place. So I've got to make sure that I'm actually butting it all the way up against it so it fits really well. And I think that's really good. I'm going to make sure all of them are the way they should be. Yeah, they all look pretty good. And like I said, I will probably do some super glue once I'm confident these are good. So that's placed. The wires are up. Um, once I pull the wires up, so again, you see the wires hanging in there, the red and black wire right there. But once I, from the top side, pull them all up and then zip tie them up here, it's going to be really, really good. So I have a feeling that doing it this way is going to take me longer than if I did take the entire grill off. But by doing this, I avoid the risk of breaking any plastic or screwing up clips or, you know, just a lot of things that I could totally do wrong and make a mess of. I think at this point, I'm just being very picky. I think they're going to look really good. And it's not like it's shining light out. It's just lighting up this thing. It's not a beam that's going to be one higher than the other. It's just very um, opaque glass. So it's just going to kind of diffuse it everywhere and it's going to look awesome. So just going to keep working on this. It's a solid crimp right there thick wire for a freaking 5 amp circuit. Oh, it does fit. Skippy skippy. Okay, so I have everything wired here. Let me show you. So you can't see the wires there. Happy with that. They come up through the two holes there. Zip tied loosely. And then I just zip tied this loosely here as well, just to keep it down. Zip tie here again, loose zip tie, just to keep the wire where it should be. This is where it's plugged in, goes through here. This is where the, uh, wires kind of loop around because there's a little extra and then a whole bunch of just extra wire I kind of tucked under here did one zip tie here and then it goes through this frame hold on through here comes out on this side I'm trying to get a good angle here so it comes in here out here zip tied loosely goes down zip tied to this wiring harness and then I go under that fuse box area, and that is my positive wire right there. This is my negative. I still haven't figured out where I'm going to ground it. Uh, I'm doing that right now, though, so we'll figure it out. And then I will switch it on and see how they look. Grounding is pretty easy. I think for this one, I might just strip the wire back a little bit and then find a bolt and put it on it. I mean, so low amperage, that'll totally be fine. It'll be fine. I don't want to go straight to the ground over there because then you bypass the battery management system. So if you go to the chassis, it goes through the battery management system. I'm positive I'm making this a hundred times harder than it has to be. All right, they work. And now I have the auxiliary switch on, and when I turn the car off, those turned off. So that's great. So I can leave it on all the time, and I'm going to go push the button again and see. Did that turn them on? No. But did that turn them on? Now the car is on, and they're on. Holy moly, I did it. I didn't have to take the grill off. 
Okay, I'm very proud of myself. And I should probably put this back together and hurry up because I'm pretty sure my wife is not gonna be happy that I'm still out here goofing around and I should be inside helping with the kids. Okay, that's it for now. Putting it away so I don't get yelled at. Super excited. I'm gonna turn them on one more time. So awesome. It's over!